The Chief Justice of India, N. V. Ramana, at an Independence Day event, made a sharp remark on the functioning of Parliament, saying that no proper debate in Parliament takes place and that this is a sorry state of affairs. Of the 20 bills passed in the Lok Sabha in the monsoon session, 19 were passed without discussion. None of the bills were sent to select committee for scrutiny. Unfortunately, over a period of time, you know what is happening in the houses. Debates which used to take place in the houses those days is very, very wise, constructive. Now, sorry state of affairs. We see the legislations, lot of gaps, lot of ambiguity in making laws. There is no clarity in laws. We don't know what purpose the laws are meaning, which is creating lot of litigation, inconvenience and loss to the government as well as inconvenience to the public. The house is adjourned to meet at 12. The house stands adjourned to meet at 11 o'clock. On Monday, the government and the opposition blame each other for the lack of debates. The opposition says it's the government that refuses to debate serious issues like Pegasus, farmers and Covid. The government on the other hand says it is the unruly behaviour of the opposition. Whichever side, government or opposition is closer to the truth, the bottom line is there was no debate. Unfortunately over a period of time, you know what is happening in the houses. Debates which used to take place in the houses those days is very, very wise, constructive. Now, sorry state of affairs. We see the legislations, lot of gaps, lot of ambiguity in making laws. There is no clarity in laws. We don't know what purpose the laws are meaning, which is creating lot of litigation, inconvenience and loss to the government as well as inconvenience to the public. In the final analysis, it's clear that parliamentary sessions like this, actually non-sessions, mean in the end India, a country, suffers. With Sukirti Dwivedi, Joshua Chin for NDTV.